The Empire Pencil Company was founded in 1900 in Shelbyville, Tennessee, also known as Pencil City, USA. And 46 years later, it merged with the Providence Pencil Company. It was around this time that brothers Merle and Harold Hassenfield, Providence natives whose family owned a little toy maker by the name of Hasbro, acquired Empire in 1943, according to Encyclopedia.com. Hassenfield's father placed his son to lead the company's division. Merrill was put in charge of toys while his brother Harold headed pencils. Harold moved to Tennessee to run Empire, and in 1980, it was spun off as a standalone company. At that time, it was the largest pen pencil manufacturer in the U.S., while Hasbro, struggling financially, in 1986, Empire merged with Connecticut-based pencil company Barrel to form Empire Barrel Corporation, and Harold continued as chairman of the board until retirement in 1988. Interestingly, around this time, the company produced the Pedigree brand of colored pencils using the same logo, just flipped upside down. In the mid-90s, Empire Barrel merged with Sanford Corporation, which now is a division of Newell brands, uh, such as, you know, Rubbermaid and Sharpie and uh, pencils and manufacturers of that. Um, this pencil, I've been unable to source an exact uh, date of manufacture. Uh, I'm going to guess this is sometime uh, before the Empire Barrel merge. Um, but the one thing I did find about it is this pencil is a genuine cedarwood pencil. And the erasers, they're not rock hard. They're still pliable. They'll probably erase. And that's really about all the information I have on these pencils. This is just a short video. I uh, thought it was some fun information to share with you about these two pencils in my collection that I think I got these at an estate sale, a local estate sale. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.